I didn't really have the best season this year. It was average, and something, some, probably something that would stick out was probably uh, at Geneseo, shot 75. We're placing second at Streeter. That was, that was fun, too. That was good. I knew he had the ability to do well, and my expectations were extremely high for him. And I just, I think he believed that he could do well also. I didn't really have many expectations, but just look for the best in everything, every situation. Can you talk about conference a little bit? I mean, that's a pretty good golf conference to be able to beat all those golfers. Yeah, uh, just hit the ball good, didn't look like I was going to play that well the first hole, and turned it around and just made pars all the way through the back and made one really tough bogey and and turned it around. What was different from maybe the final three or four weeks of the season that allowed you to play so well um, that it wasn't there at the beginning? The competition was a lot higher. Uh, that helps a lot. You, you're in a different mindset when the competition's a lot higher. I think he just became driven. He just, he just realized that, hey, this is getting towards the end. Uh, he was down. He wasn't playing well. And, and, and he just said, I better get it in gear and start playing well. What's kind of the most, the one thing that makes you the most proud? Uh, probably the school record. Just because, I mean, I played really good and didn't get down. I just kept moving forward. Last year, there was a lot of times he'd have a bad shot and he would get down himself or he could make, you know, just do something where you could see the, the frustration and disgust. This year, he realized when he made a bad shot, he knew what he had to do. Uh, and he got focused with it. Golf is such a mental sport. I mean, you can you can play fantastic, and then all of a sudden you do something, and it, once your mental game goes, you have no confidence in what you're doing, and you think every shot is terrible, and you're you're done. When you start getting into prediction mode. Do you ever take any of them serious, or you're just like, okay, Lane, it's who you are? When he first did it, I kind of knew what he was doing that he was kind of fooling around, but I kind of did a little reverse psychology, like, I dare you to do it, go ahead. And so then it became a challenge. And because of the way he is, when you challenge him, he hates to lose. So I knew if I said, okay, let's see if you can do it, big shot. And so when he did it, then he said again, what's the school record? 69, can you do it? I'm gonna get it. And he got it. I'm looking for higher expectations than this year. Probably another school record or something like that, I don't know. Does higher also include getting to state? Uh, yeah. I don't know why I don't know why I didn't go to state this year. I should have went to state this year, just just unlucky. I heard him say that he'll get the record, he'll break the record next year. I think he's going to. And so I'm gonna keep challenging him and say, Okay, how good are you? 